hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back once again hearts of iron 4 red world mod uh this is actually a fan fork off of the original mod because you know as some most of you probably know that actually follow this mod the creator passed away sometime last year and so uh the fans took it over you know they decided to continue his work and i really like this mod so i figured you know it'd be nice to go back to it and uh, I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't want to be it, it to be like a sad moment. Like, oh, let's pay your respect. Obviously, we will, because um, you know it's sad when someone passes away. But I feel like the guy who made it. I don't. I don't know him, but he seemed like a passionate guy to make this mod essentially on his own uh, at first. I feel like he'd uh, he'd enjoy it if uh, other people enjoyed his mod, right? So let's do just that, right? Uh, we're gonna be trying to unite America. What do we need for that? Everything, really. <laughs> we, we are. How, how many people are communists right now? Democratic League. The Warsaw Pact is huge. I guess you are also democratic, right? Yeah, there's not many people left around here that are, uh, you know, too too strong anymore. But we will. Uh, we will persevere. There we go. In here, in here, in here, in here. What else do we really need? Artillery, we got that. Anti air, yes, always like to have that. And some fighters, maybe? Sure, those can go into guns. And I, I don't really need a navy right now, so let's focus on this first. Yeah, like. As much as I like history, this is too much to read all at once, so I'm not gonna read all of this. There we go, there we go. Just, you know, get rid of all of this. Thank you. All right, let's get started, right? Good. We've got a lot of work to do. Rise of the Republic. We're pretty much gonna try and reclaim our lands. The nationalist values. I guess that would be pretty interesting, right? I think we should probably go for that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. We can pour stuff. Excuse me, that was my bottle. Revenge against the Soviet Union. Oh, interesting. All right. Also, I wanted to say, you know, by the way, as some of you boys probably knew from uh, from Discord, have a, you know, last year or so has been kind of rough, dating-wise, been very lonely. I've been seeing some people on and off again, but nothing too amazing. And uh, fairly recently, I found someone that was really cool, and I, uh, uh, I don't know how to say this without being too weird about it, but uh, for, for first time in a long time, I found someone that was... Um, Someone I could uh, picture myself um, spending a lot of time with uh, in the long term. But your boy fucked it up because he has about as much situational awareness as a brick to the face. And so, alas, that had to fall apart. Uh, I remember like posting something about it in my Discord and uh, some of you boys were there to, you know, talk with me about it, that kind of stuff. And I really appreciated it. And I just want to say a little thank you, right? Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, now, now it feels like a shameless plug, but if you want to see that, it, it's probably somewhere down in the, in the, in the Discord still. Um, but yeah, it happened, but I'm glad I, you know, was able to express myself somewhere without it being too, too weird, right? I feel like I do way better when I... Um, release myself, you know, when I talk things out. Th that's also one of the reasons I started this channel, like, f years ago, back in the day. I was going through a rough breakup, uh, and uh, I need something to distract myself, and I always want to try YouTube. So I did this. You know, I don't regret it. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot, and I'll probably keep doing this, hopefully, until I die. I feel like a, lo a lot of YouTubers say, like, oh, I don't want to keep going. Uh, while I'm older, I've, I don't know, I've, 
I'm down to like commit some casual war crimes. Wait, uh, yeah, five minutes have passed. Susan one orders. I'm down to commit some casual war crimes in, uh, in the game. It's always fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a, a little thank you for um, being here, my boys. I do appreciate it a lot. And I'm looking forward to hopefully as many as po uh, years as possible. Uh, being able to play for you guys and do some really dumb stuff <laughs> in game pretty much all right we can't go anywhere in there so the soldiers yes most important part right now now research speed of course yeah, and what the hell is this this is like I ran in uh, the new order mod. What the hell? That is disgusting. Anyway. Anything else I want to talk about? Except for like that sad emo shit that no one actually gives a shit about. Uh, let me see. Let me see. There was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, making some more videos on the second channel, by the way. Some memes as well as, you know, a rant about something that's very important to me. I'm not going to spoil... Um, the theme, but you should definitely go to my um, channel. Actually, in the in the com in the um, what you call it in the description down below. There's like a link tree that you can press, and there's my Discord, my um, second channel, Twitter, this whatever. You should follow me there. Um, <clears throat> but on my second channel, I will be posting a few more very spicy me memes, if you know what I mean. And so I I hope to see you guys there as well. Anyway, that's enough time wasted. Well. It's not like we're doing much. This is still the preparation stage. There's a lot of things to be done. When will this happen, Robert? Oh, when's the next election? Where's the election? There's, are there no elections? I guess not. International stigma. Stigma balls. Hey, y'all. Got him. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to be trying to reconnect everything. Union of People's Republics. Huh, Jarvis. Interesting. Failing economy. Alright, how about our economy? Is it failing? No, we're just weird. Yeah, that's pretty much what we need. Recruitment campaign. So let's get down there, right? There we go. Good. Let's take these ones, actually. Put them down here. Put them down here. I only have eight infantry divisions, which isn't a big amount. Let's put it that way. Protest outside of the White House. Oh no. Don't tell me we're gonna lose Washington. American People's Commonwealth though. Is that Bernie Sanders? No, he, he's not. Hmm. Western corruption. Political deadlock. Alright, so there's a lot of uh, weird stuff going on in here, basically. But it's okay. We can fix it. There's Texas as well that we need to take care of. Partial mob. Yes, we're only on volunteers only, actually. We will uh, switch that up eventually. Jab push! Yo, <laughs> Jeb Bush. I don't care what kind of path we go through. We're taking Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush restores America. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, actually, as much as I want to, that, we, we're going to go in here first. The right wing values dominate. All right. 
beautiful. <laughs> uh, the Republicans maintain it. Yeah, that sounds fun. Why not? I don't care. I don't care what happens. All I want is, to, is for Jeb Bush to stay in control. Oh well. Dude, we need a lot of guns. What the hell? A year's worth of guns. That is insane. That's an insane amount. Well, we got our work cut out for us, though. So, let's see what's up, right? Let's see what's up. Right-wing values dominate. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go in here then, huh? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Attach yourself in here. I want some, uh... All right, whatever. You, you just put someone else in there, right? Doesn't matter who. Actually, one second. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We back. We back. Attach yourself in here. Oh, Lord, we got some guns. Three a day, that's... Mm, that should be a lot better. Let's be real. There we go. It's 11 means more industry, more industry, more industry. There we go. Increased Republican support. Jeb Bush will become the God Emperor of mankind. Pretty much. I didn't know you could get Jeb Bush in, but I'm so glad you could. Apparently there's issues with illegal immigrants. I don't know why the fuck anyone would want to come live in here. This looks like a mess. But, uh... Hey, whatever, it's fine. It's totally fine. Let's get rid of all of this. Good. Ethiopia joins the Warsaw Pact. I knew it. I knew it from the start. They're the type of people that join that would join the Warsaw Pact, definitely. Why would they? Wh whatever, whatever. I'm gonna go. Let's have a look at them. They don't. I guess they have kind of like a communist color now. Purplish red. Burgundy. Well, it's not. It's kind of like an off color burgundy. The Warsaw Pact looks disgusting, though. I don't like it. The United Kingdom. What are you, though? Why is she giving less stability? I don't know. George Osborne. Kate and William marry. Marry up while you can, Baldy. Go on ahead. That's, that's a bit mean-spirited. I'm sure he's happy with his bald head. Hell, who knows, maybe I'll go bald soon. Shouldn't make fun of others like that. It's very, very bad of me. Review the separation, wait, what? Are we separatists? Oh, no, 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 that, you know, no, we will be secular. Rewrite textbooks to fit our glorious, glorious leaders, Jeb Bush's, you know, conception and um, viewpoint of American history. We will go down as the greatest history, in, in, in history as the greatest leaders of mankind or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we, we still got a lot of work to do. Colonel, oh. oh, I don't want to call an election. We we're keeping Jeb Bush. God damn it, Jeb Bush is gonna lead us to glory. There we go. Limit the conscription. <gasps> Bernie Sanders. Yo, that's kind of epic. He can still win, guys. He can still win. What's Vermont though, dude? I, I have nothing. I have no idea about America. What's Vermont? Idiot liberals. 
checkmate. Are you... Oh, he was related to... See, Vermont, he's, he's somewhere in here, Bernie Sanders. So I was right with my meme about this guy looking like Bernie Sanders. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's get superior firepower. Still the best doctor. Not as good as we used to be. But, hey. One step at a time. One step at a time. <laughs> Stock market instability, but what else is new? Don't invest in stocks if you're not prepared to stay in there long term, buddy. Time in the market beats timing the market. We've been over this before. You know, want some stock advice? Just hold, bro. Just hold forever. Just invest in ETFs. And if you're in Belgium, like me, invest in ETFs that don't pay out dividend because there's a big, big tax of 30% on dividends. And it's insane. Instead, invest in, t in ETFs that do um, something along the lines of capital gains. Anyway, <laughs> that has been my my ramble. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not workhorse. Yeah. Yeah. When in doubt, get more PP. Fight the executives. Oh no, are we fighting Mr. Big Boy Apple? Are we fighting against Jeff Bezos? Hope not. That's a, that's a tactical bomber right there. The drones are the tactical bombers of the future. Kind of makes sense. But now I know for sure. There we go. One every week. That's okay. That's okay. I do kind of want to stay secular I just hate the thought that's just a personal opinion but I fucking loathe governments that have church aspects in them I'm atheist I don't care if someone's religious you know it's that's the thing uh, people get strength from religion they get a sense of purpose and it does have a place in people's life if if it's something that they need they should be able to practice whatever religion they want, as long as it doesn't harm anyone, right? That being said, the state doesn't shouldn't be involved in religion. And why am I getting political? I hate political things. I love memeing about politics, but I anyway. That's the one thing that pees me off. I think um, the place of religion in our modern society is all whack. Other than that, I don't care what kind of opinion people have. You can be right wing, you can be left wing, I don't care. Just let people practice their religion, no matter what it is, as long as it's safe. But also, do it by yourself. I don't care, right? I don't think anyone really does. People that care have way too much time on their mind. That's the thing. Anyway, I, I, I gotta stop. I, people are gonna think I actually care about politics, I really don't. Like, um, I love Dune Hammer. He's a great guy, right? Uh, but I don't know what it is. Like, he's been telling me about this as well, I remember, like a few months ago. Um, a Texan state. Oh, you're about to get liquidated hard. There we go, we're off. We are off. Hmm. Did they get... What are they gonna... St what are they gonna do against us? Nothing. Look at that, what the hell? We're absolutely crushing them. Anyway, I was talking about Dune, right? So... He's been telling me about this. Um, he loves his community, right? Obviously. We wouldn't be doing this if we didn't like um, the people we were doing this for. Um, but he's like, I don't care about politics at all. But people love to talk about politics in the comment sections and uh, in, in his Discord. And I used to have that as well. But I, right now, I'm enjoying my shit. 
because there's a very little politics in my Discord or in my comments. At most, there's memes. There's memes about politics, and that is totally cool, and I love that. But I, I just can't bring myself to give a shit about the politics in general. Like, everything is bad. I hate everyone. Is there, is there a side that hates everyone? Because I want that one. Hates everyone equally. Because I just do not care about anything. Anyway. <laughs> so much for that. Ah, oh, but in the meantime, we got some land back. Isn't that wholesome? Wholesomely shitting on politics and religion. Pretending that I'm some kind of a light enlightened motherfucker while I'm not because I'm apathetic towards the problems that everyone is facing. I can't help it. No, it's, it's not apathetic. I'm, I'm very aware of the problems, but I'm very disillusioned as well. And I don't think there's like, oh, big solution from this side or bad solution from the other side. It's just that people with power are corrupt. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, right? I, I think that that's like a quote for somewhere. And, and now, now I should be like some kind of dumb anime quote. But uh, it is true, I, I, and I believe in that. Uh, power corrupts people, and people that are corrupted tend to be attracted to power. Because, you know, they want to use it. People uh, that are less attracted to power are less likely to want to get power. Unless there's something they want to change. Um, so yeah. I don't know. Shit's whack, yo. Is basically my opinion on politics. Hope you can understand that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Pog. There's more humble bundles. I gotta check them out. Oh, there's one on investment. Yes. I gotta look it up. I got, dude, I got, I gotta buy one. I love, I don't know if I've ever really talked about it extensively. I, I feel like the most I've ever talked about it. Yeah, it's all the Senate. I am the Senate. I feel like the most I talked about uh, investment would be today, but I'm really into investment and a long-term growth of capital. Cause um, as you know, some of you may know, I grew up very, very poor. Um, Back in high school, I remember when we moved over here to Bruges, we basically all lived in one room with like an electric heater while my dad was trying to fix up uh, the house that we rent bit by bit because that was like the only house that people would rent to us because, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. And um, that really, you know, staged my whole belief in uh, financial independence. That's why I'm trying to be as fiscally re responsible. I save a lot of money each month. I'm trying to buy a house. I don't want to rent if I can help it. I feel like I have to. But still, I don't know. It sucks. It sucks. I wish I could just... Sometimes I wish... Uh, sometimes I wonder what it would be like to actually be born in a, in a family that... Uh, actually had opportunities to do stuff to I don't know have opportunities in, in general be able to pursue anything they wanted to without ever having to worry about money uh, maybe I would be different maybe I wouldn't be as uh, frugal maybe I wouldn't be as good with money our flag for all yes Yo, we got more. More lords. Lord Farquaad? Yo, Pog. Yo, Pog. There we go. We got a 20 stack. Something like that, right? Good. All right. But yeah, I'm very much into financial independence and I, uh, I don't know. I want to be able to do whatever the fuck I want. Like, I wanted to get to a point where I don't ever have to work just because I have money. Though I don't feel like I'll ever stop working. Like, even if I had like $10 million right now, I could do whatever the fuck I want, I'd still be making YouTube videos. I'll be, I'll be real with you. And there's no way I'm stopping in here. Unless I absolutely have to. 
a middle ground. No, 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 no. Low corporate taxes. Oh, I do love me some research, though. So, yeah, let's get that. Integrate Texan territories, good. Uh, but, yeah, I, I want to be able to, you know, never have to worry about money ever again, because it's stressful. And that's why I keep working myself hard. I uh, work full time. I uh, still am finishing up my master's degree, I'm running essentially two YouTube channels, writing a book. <laughs> you know, I've I've mentioned it a few times, right? Uh, I'm planning on publishing it at some point. I I do think it's uh, it's a pretty good book. I've had it. I, I've handed it over to an editor, and he was he was like, "Are you sure this is the first time you've written a book?" And I was like, "Oh hell yeah." Um, I don't know what you mean, but also keep saying that stuff. It strokes my ego. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I do wonder. I hope people will like it as well. I'm very proud of what I did. But those will be, you know, for the future. I'm probably going to be like, um, apparently it's a thing where you let people pre-order it as well. But uh, I'll put it on pre-order and then I'll uh, tell you guys about it and I'll, I'll just give away a few copies to you boys because you've been in here for, well, you've been kind of like my, um, my therapy. Whenever I feel sad, whenever I feel lonely, which is a lot, like a lot, <laughs> now it's going to be very sad, but I, I, I do feel sad and lonely a lot of the times, but um, whenever I play games on YouTube, even though, you know, I, I don't even talk about my problems, except for like right now, I, I still feel good. I still feel productive. Um, I still feel like it makes a difference just being able to talk with you guys. Just in general, even though there's no response, I would have loved to actually get a response. That's why I want to like stream in the future once I get my own place. But like I said, I prefer not to rent if at all possible. Just saving up money, that's why. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can make that work, right? That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Anyway, intelligence. Now, max planning. I kind of like this one. You know what? Yeah, novice mastermind. Silent lawyer. Monthly pop. No. Yeah, I think the silent lawyer is probably for the best. Administrative genius, whoa. William Rice. His name is Rice. Oh, his name is Rice. All right. Bernie becomes president elect. Where's Bernie? No. He can still win. That's not Bernie. Is he in Canada? Is he in Alaska? Where's Bernie? I know he can still win. Illinois? No. Who are you even? Melissa Hortman? Where are all these people? That looks like Macron. Macron. Rather. Uh, promote investments. I mean... Yeah. Let's go there. Right? Good. But, that is pretty much all the time I have left for today. I uh, do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And uh, hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.